Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Manos Vasilakis. Uh, I study uh, web I implement the web application uh, for copyright protection on electronic books with uh, new design approach uh, with uh, some partners and the affiliations of the partners. Uh, what was the idea for uh, this project? Uh, uh, in this study, a web application uh, copyright protection uh, system has been developed based on some uh, algorithms, uh, including cryptography and steganography. Uh, those uh, enable users to verify the original buyer of a book, allowing them to identify who purchased a book and who did not. <clears throat> Suppose I have purchased a book, someone claims uh, I purchased the book, not you. <clears throat> uh, the proposed uh, method could identify the original buyer if a PDF is for permanent possession and verified as buyer by another uh, user, uh, mainly from the system. That was the idea. Uh, some theoretical uh, parts. Uh, the most uh, five e-books uh, uh, all over the world are PDF, EPUB, Kid, in the reader and some others. I implemented uh, the web application for PDF format right now, but uh, you can extend it in other formats as well, uh, because PDF is the most uh, common uh, format in, uh, uh, in Europe. In countries outside of uh, the Europe, the European <coughs> Union, mainly in America, uh, the most common format is the EPUB. <coughs> uh, some uh, basic sketches uh, here. You have to know some uh, theoretical parts <coughs> because uh, you need uh, uh, these uh, branches uh, to know what is this to implement it uh, 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 with code, uh, the program, implemented in Java. Uh, cryptography, uh, yeah. basically cryptology is a science, uh, including the two uh, branches, cryptography and cryptanalysis. Uh, <clears throat> Cryptography uh, is something to secure a commun a communication uh, where uh, the data uh, transferred, you need something to encrypt uh, the data. Uh, cryptanalysis is the opposite uh, direction. Uh, mm, uh, uh, analyzing uh, the uh, cryptographic systems to uh, to try to find some uh, bugs uh, for uh, the secret keys or uh, to decrypt uh, the cipher text uh, to break the algorithm. Uh, symmetric encryption and asymmetric encryption. How does uh, the process work symmetric is more uh, simple uh, because you have one key for uh, the encryption and decryption and uh, the recipient uses the same key uh, to decrypt the cipher text in other way in a symmetric encryption uh, the recipient generates a key pair including the public key and private key the public key can distribute it uh, through a secure uh, channel or a public key repository. Uh, 
and about the encryption process uh, sender wants to send uh, a message to the recipient uh, that's the idea the sender obtains the recipient's public key and the sender encrypts the message using the, re the recipient's public key and uh, in the decryption process the recipient de receives the encrypted message and uh, the recipient uses a private key to decrypt the message and to reveal the original content. Uh, for uh, uh, symmetric uh, algorithms, uh, uh, they have uh, two types, the block uh, cipher and stream cipher. Uh, these are some modes, uh, how the uh, process uh, works about uh, the encryption process. Uh, some important expressions on, on cryptography. You need uh, to know all of this because uh, you, ha you have a playtext in your code, the cipher text and encrypted message, all these uh, components. Uh, the playtext is the, uh, let's say, the message that is clear to everyone. The cipher text is something uh, when you put and uh, transform that uh, message so uh, with different uh, ways. So uh, mainly you cover the playtext message. The encryption algorithm uh, transforms the original text uh, to a cryptic message. Encryption is a conversation pro uh, process. Decryption is a reverse uh, process to decrypt the message to see the playtext. You need, of course, a key for your algorithm and then padding. Uh, padding is, uh, uh, for example, when uh, you want to uh, encrypt uh, the word hello. Hello is uh, five bits, so you need more bits for your algorithm. And in this case, the padding uh, uh, added uh, some, uh, <coughs> depends uh, the version you want to use, adding some uh, text uh, to have a fixed size. The overview of methodology uh, for uh, these uh, web applications uh, has uh, all uh, these uh, blocks. It's block, uh, in each block you need uh, something uh, different to implement. I, I will explain uh, uh, each step of uh, this block. Uh, uh, I uh, used uh, cryptography, steganography, uh, combines uh, these two techniques for more data security. You can implement the same application with one uh, uh, technique, but it's uh, uh, not uh, so security. And uh, <coughs> in this methodology, there is a the page, uh, the page from the web application. When you write uh, the URL, you will see uh, something uh, there. Uh, collecting the data from the form and uh, the PDF uh, which is uploaded by the user. I used AS encryption. Uh, it's a very strong uh, algorithm and you cannot break so easy uh, this algorithm. Uh, there is there are there is a PDF processing with a lot of actions. Uh, in Java and steganography LSB algorithm uh, for the images and the reverse process for the decryption. 
so the step one was uh, you have uh, this uh, page, it's a neck page, a JSP file, uh, it's the same with an HTML file, and uh, you have to fill uh, some fields here from the buyer and uh, the form collects uh, collect the user data and uh, also in this page there is a button under uh, this field to upload uh, your uh, PDF uh, and uh, all of this process use the algorithm AS to encrypt all this field and for more uh, security uh, there are some modes in AS algorithm I use the CBC mode the initialize vector to add more security uh, security initialize vector is uh, something uh, you have an extra key in its uh, encryption process uh, I have an image uh, later on the slides The second uh, step is uh, when you fill all uh, when you fill all the fields and upload your uh, PDF. Uh, the algorithm creates uh, this image with I put uh, the name and the surname, uh, the first two fields, and uh, there is a string here. Uh, the these uh, strings. Uh, th this is a cryptographic string, it includes all the encrypted uh, data concatenated together. Uh, so it includes the name, the surname, the email, the date, the code, the transaction code and the book ISBN code. All this uh, data is here encrypted. <coughs> using the AS uh, algorithm. Uh, Jeff, about uh, the AS algorithm, uh, uh, as I said before, uh, it's used uh, in a variety of applications, including the wireless security, process security, uh, files encryption or decryption, uh, uh, SSL TLS uh, protocols, so it's a very strong and fast uh, algorithm, that's why I choose uh, that algorithm. Uh, uh, about uh, steganography, mm. steganography uh, is a technique uh, that uh, you can hit uh, information in the pixels of its image. For, so, for example, there is an image on the left and uh, an image on the right. Uh, the left image is inside uh, on the right image. So, you can hit uh, image in other images. You can uh, hit also text in the images or audio files. Or you can hit something in the packets. Uh, I used uh, uh, this technique to hit something uh, text uh, in the image. Okay, there is an algorithm to replace the original images in the PDF, so uh, the process is uh, I have a PDF, I create a cover PDF, uh, uh, let's say a user uh, uh, workspace with the images I want to uh, uh, to encrypt uh, hidden data. Uh, in this example there is a PDF file and in the page 2 here there are four images. 
so uh, the algorithm uh, search its image in the PDF and the cryptic uh, this string which includes all the uh, files uh, fields from the form in each image so on the page 2 there are uh, four images in page 4 there are one images and so on uh, the message uh, I, you encrypt is uh, the fields here and the, crypt the cryptographic string uh, an, an example for the LSB algorithm how it does uh, works uh, let's uh, suppose we have uh, th only three pixels from uh, uh, 24 bit image in bytes such as uh, this exam and uh, we want to store uh, the byte uh, 0111110000 and uh, in the original uh, uh, table there are uh, some changes but uh, a few changes in this exam the uh, only three changes so it's a good technique because uh, if you're going to hit bytes in image, in image pixels uh, some bytes are the same the first one with the first one here are the same so you will not change something only the bytes are different and this is good because if you change a lot of bytes here and uh, you see the original image and the final image uh, you will detect some uh, difference between the two images and uh, the decryption process is a reverse order uh, the LSB algorithm uh, uh, extract uh, image pixels to retrieve, uh, retrieve a binary representation of the encrypted data because in steganography uh, you have to work uh, with uh, bytes of arrays in the uh, uh, code and uh, after this step the other step is to decrypt the encrypted data using the AES uh, decryption algorithm with uh, the key you used and the IV and uh, it is important to store uh, something safely uh, the key and the IV because if someone steal uh, this uh, file he can decrypt all the cover pages cover uh, PDF files here yeah. so it's important to secure your web server or to uh, uh, encrypt more the file that uh, generated uh, the key and the IV an exam here uh, upload the book to cover PDF the encryption IV generated by Radon and the encryption key is this one uh, these two lines represent uh, the cryptographic string this one and uh, the decryption process you can uh, see who is the buyer uh, of uh, this PDF uh, some conclusions uh, the solution redefines copyright protection the digital age. Combined cryptography and ganography provides robust data security. Uh, it's uh, very good to use uh, these two together methodologies. And the methodology multi layer approach threatens protection against uh, attack vendors. Because someone uh, can try to find uh, your secret uh, message here and uh, with some texting, techniques uh, trying to decrypt this uh, message. Uh, 
Thank you for your attention, your questions.